this month has been such a mess. Like the past month has been such a financial, full of financial ups to be honest. Uh Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another money video for you guys and I'm a little bit nervous to film this one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. It's just kind of like nothing I've ever filmed before. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I guess that's why I'm nervous. Um, but really quick, if you're new, make sure that you are subscribed. If this is the first video you're seeing from me. Hi, my name is Zoe. I am 24 years old. I live in Montreal and I work as a tech consultant. Most of my videos are work vlogs or videos about money. And I really do my best to be super honest and transparent with you guys. Um, sometimes perhaps it's like TMI, but I don't know. The response so far has been really good. So I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel. And also give this video a thumbs up if you're new. If you're not new, just give the video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm and it makes me happy and it lets me know that you guys like this kind of video. So, okay. Okay, God, I'm wearing... <laughs> I'm wearing all pink today. It was like not on purpose. I was originally wearing a gray sweater. Look at this. I am such a freaking loser. It's not even funny. Um, but I wanted to wear pink for the video, but I didn't feel like changing my pants. So, and it just so happened that my socks are pink too. So, okay, I look like a crazy person. Um, nice to meet you and let's get into it. So last month I posted a money update video. I've been doing like the last two months, I've done like a mid month sort of payday vlog or money update. And you guys said you wanted to see monthly installments of this. And I'm all for that. I love it because it's supposed to, you know, help keep me on track, help hold you guys accountable so that we can all work together to achieve our money goals. And the whole point of this is like, you know, for anyone who's new, like I'm a very real person. Um, you know, I have student debt, I have rent to pay, like, and I have like a normal income. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at. Um, so I'm just basically what I'm trying to say is like, I'm in the same boat as a lot of you guys. And so I'm happy to be like a source of relatable finance content for you guys. So I almost didn't film this video because I was so embarrassed with how bad I've been with my money the last month. Um, and I was just gonna like brush over it and not film it and you know, upload a money update next month. But I realized that that would kind of go against the reason why I'm doing these videos and kind of go against like who I feel that I am as a YouTuber, which is a source of honesty and relatability for you guys. So I decided I was gonna film the video anyways and I really managed to turn it around when I got the idea to solicit you guys' responses. So I asked you guys on Instagram to share your money wins and your money fails with me for the last month and you guys came through and I have so many awesome confessions for you guys. So those are gonna be in the second half of the video. And overall, I just talk a lot in this video so I really feel this could be a fun podcast style video so feel free to play it in the background while you're making dinner while you're cleaning while you're working whatever you know there's nothing to see besides my horrible all pink outfit so yeah you can listen to this podcast style and i really hope you enjoy let's get into it so the theme of today's video is going to be money confessions so i'm going to be confessing to you guys my money fails from the last month and i have submissions from you guys that i got on instagram of your money wins and fails so hopefully we can all just hang out together in this video realize that we're all human and use it as inspiration to get back on track to achieving our money goals Really quick, I want to give a shout out to Wealth Simple. This video isn't sponsored, but I do want to mention that I am now a Wealth Simple partner. So Wealth Simple is my favorite favorite app for investing. You can use it to invest in individual stocks, but you can also use it to invest in funds, which is what I do because it is just a lot easier to manage. Um, you just put it into a fund and let the market do the work for you. So I'm really, really satisfied with Wealth Simple. The main thing that I like about it is it's really easy to use it's not you know, overwhelming like a lot of other banking apps and you can actually get advice from a financial advisor and it's not like I've gone to the bank before I used to do like deal with one of the big four banks um, in Canada and the investors were always kind of sleazy and always trying to make me take on more risk than I was comfortable with um, and well simple doesn't do that it's really like for you they're really a millennial focused company so I really really love 
using them and I'm happy that now I'm actually a Wealth Simple partner, which means I have a special deal for you guys. So if you use my code to sign up for Wealth Simple, you get $50 invested into your account when you deposit $500 and I get a little bit kick back too. So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, sign up for Wealth Simple. You will not regret it. And also exciting, I'm going to be interviewing a financial planner from Wealth Simple in a few weeks. So that video is coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. And Wealth Simple works in the US and Canada. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. So yes. <laughs> okay. So like I said, this past month has been rough. I've been spending a lot of money. I haven't even done like my banking yet to see, you know, how much I'm going to contribute to my loan this month, how much I'm going to put into savings. Like I don't even know yet um, because I need to pay off my credit cards and I'm just not emotionally ready, but I guess I'm gonna do it on camera as usual. So why are my credit card bills so high right now? Um, I went for two weekends away. Um, or one weekend I went to Toronto and the other weekend I went to a chalet, um, basically just like some COVID friendly traveling for the end of the summer. And yeah, I spent a lot of money. Um, on my MasterCard, which is the credit card I use less frequently, I am owing, ah! oh my God, I owe $900, why? Oh, man. It's just so frustrating because I just, I'm back to that feeling of feeling like I have no grip on where my money's going. Like there was a few months where I was doing really well and I think the last month I just kind of lashed out. Like I had some things kind of happen in my personal life that made me a bit more emotional um, and kind of made me just wanna like self-soothe by spending, which is really a habit that I have is like when I'm anxious, when I'm upset, um, I like self-soothe by spending money. And I've also been making more money from YouTube, which is silly because the money I make from YouTube anyways, like I don't actually spend it on myself. I only ever spend it on investing back into my channel. So buying like equipment, um, buying stuff for videos, which rarely happens. And um, I spend it on my student loan. Those are the only two things I'm allowed to touch my YouTube money for. But I think what happened was it created this sort of weird effect in my mind where even though I know I can't spend that money, I felt like I was earning more money, therefore I could start shopping more again. So it's like I'm slipping back into my old bad habits and I'm not proud of it, but by addressing it, you can change those habits and you can get back on track. So that's why I'm admitting it to you guys. So if you guys are going through something similar, which we'll get into because I know a lot of you are, um, we're in this together, let's get back on track together. Okay, so basically I was just kind of eating out a lot. Eating out is really the killer. I actually ate out a ton this month. Um, so yes, I'm owing about $900 on this card. For the current statement, however, um, I'm owing $860. So that needs to get paid off like today. Um, and then my Amex, which is the card I use most often, this is so embarrassing, you guys. I'm currently owing $1,800. And that is from eating out, that is from shopping, and that is also from things like not all of it is actually my spending. Some of it is stuff that I paid for on behalf of a group that they reimbursed um, part of it. But I think I only have, let me check. Okay, yeah, I have about $600 of that that is being reimbursed back. So the total amounts owing for my credit cards this month are $860 on my MasterCard and $1,200 on my Amex. That is a shit ton of money and I'm really embarrassed that I spent that much. And now that I'm saying it out loud, I really need to change my habits and stop eating out so much. I think the other thing is some of the COVID restrictions in Montreal got a little bit you know, lighter and people are more comfortable going out to eat um, and to see people and you know, all of those things encompass spending money. So I just need to kick back and like take my own advice and sort of reduce those things. So, okay. So I asked you guys on Instagram to share with me your money wins and your money fails for the month. And I'm just gonna read to you guys a bunch of my favorites. It's gonna be a mix of wins and fails. So let's just get into it. Okay, the first one is from Marcella. She says that she paid off her student loan this month, so congratulations, that is effing amazing. You should be so proud of yourself. Um, good job, so yay, round of applause for her. Um, the next one is from M. Morgan. She said, putting money into 
her savings account, looking to invest it, but kind of scared. So that is also an awesome win. And I think I DM'd her and I was like, don't be scared to invest. Um, and for any of you guys who are watching who maybe are in a similar boat, personally, I think starting investing into like a fund that is managed for you is actually a really good way to get into investing with a little bit less risk and it's a little bit more hands off. So you can just invest it, know that your money is growing faster than it would in a savings account, but you don't actually have to do a lot of work. And for that, I use Wealthsimple um, and I really, really like it. So Mary, my dear friend Mary, says that she finally reached under $1,000 in debt. So that is amazing. Congrats, Mary. We love you. Oh my gosh, this one's funny. So Meg says that she went to an outlet mall, always trouble. Yeah, I feel you. Um, Adult Tears says money win, got a $1,000 bonus at work and steadily saving 35% of income. Good job, congratulations. Amanda says, not looking at how much money I racked up on my visa. Yeah, I feel you. That was literally me until five seconds ago. James says, Tesla stock up 500%. Wish I put way more in. Oh my gosh. So I don't really follow stocks that much, but like everybody's talking about Tesla and I have crazy FOMO because I'm like, should I have invested in Tesla? Like obviously you should. And that's literally just the FOMO is the normal part of the market and the FOMO is actually what I think is continuing to drive the stock up is other people want in on this action. So they're like inflating the price of the stock. Um, but 500% is crazy. So good for you, James. Valeria says saving an extra hundred dollars whenever I see I'm okay with paying bills. So good. Emma says Aritzia with the little face. Oops. Yeah, I DM'd her after and I was like, yeah, I feel you. Um, I didn't actually shop at Aritzia this month, but Aritzia used to be my biggest downfall. Like I would go into Aritzia, like into the store on my way home from work and just like blow money. Anyway, thank God that I unfollowed them on Instagram. Actually, I've been saving a lot of money ever since I unfollowed Aritzia on Instagram because I don't online shop from them anymore. So that could be a tip for any of you guys. Uh, Holly says that money win, got a tax rebate sick. Those tax rebates are literally free money. And my advice to anyone would be when you get a tax rebate, don't spend it. Try and put it into your savings or to invest it or put it towards debt because it's free money. Basically, like you've already paid for it kind of, but you can see it as free money that you can then put towards your future, which is super, super awesome. This is future me editing this video. Everybody, please skip back a few seconds and go read what is on the screen for her money mess up. It's actually so funny and I can't believe I forgot to read it in the video. Holly, you're a legend. Shaki says, I was recently able to separate my savings and emergency fund into two different institutions, amazing. And he says, on the other hand though, I've been spending more on food and eating out than my rent. Ooh, that's rough, but um, that's okay. You can get better. So I completely forgot to read these two as well and I think they're really funny. So the first one says that she signed a lease with a roommate but is still living with her parents, money waste. That is so rough and I talked about this in my last monthly money update about like people moving back home with their parents, people leaving the big cities and I feel like this is a perfect example of that. So hopefully you can get back to your apartment soon um, or maybe you're living with your room without your roommate because she's crazy and I hope that's not the case. Okay, and the next one is from Mathilde. She said that she spent a lot of money this month because it was her birthday. I'm a student and I can't live too bougie. That I can totally relate to because when I was in university, I was living like such a bougie life that I could not afford. So, I feel you. Okay, this one was one of my favorites. This is from Ray. He says, when I got laid off from Airbnb, I started selling plants on Etsy and made 120K in five months. So I DM'd him and I was like, that's insane. And he linked me, I asked him to link his Etsy shop. So I will link it down below for any of you guys who are into plants. If you want to support him and purchase from him, I think that would be awesome. His, his plants look so beautiful. Um, so I'll have that link down below. Louisa says, I, when I signed up for RRSP, amazing for anyone who's not Canadian, that is your retirement savings account that the government, um, I think it's like tax free and the government makes certain contributions to it. Um, loss, it's my man's birthday, spent a bunch of money. Valeria says, I accidentally spent $45 on a meal I could have gotten at Wendy's. So I DM'd her and I was like, what are you talking about? 
So she explained how she was hungry for like a burger and like chicken tenders and stuff. And she ended up going to this really bougie diner and spending $45 when she could have just gotten that kind of stuff at Wendy's. So I thought that was really funny. Um, Molly says she canceled two subscriptions, but then started two more. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like that's something I would do. Like I'll donate a bunch of clothes and then I'll just go shopping. And it's like, that just defeats the whole purpose of cleaning out your closet. Okay. Ambreen says paid for an online protein powder and never got it. Lesson learned. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Okay, my dad says he is broke after 60 years of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Dad, get it together. <laughs> if any of you guys want to get more insight into why my dad said that or like who my dad is, I have a really good video up on my channel with my dad about entrepreneurship, quitting your job, money and like finding happiness. So I will link that down below. A lot of people really, really took value from that video and I think it's fun to get to know my dad a little bit more too. So that will be linked down below. Check it out after this video. Matt says he bought a pair of $300 jeans so they'd last, they stretched out and now look fugly. It's been two weeks. Oh my God, that sucks. I feel like we've all been there where we've bought something like really expensive that, you know, is meant to last, you meant to buy good quality and then it just doesn't like turn out to be the quality you expected. I've done that with shoes where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy these expensive shoes because they'll be more comfortable. And then they end up hurting my feet just as much if not more than a pair of cheaper shoes does and like it's so annoying and it's so hard to tell what's worth investing in and what's not so I feel you Sarah says money oops getting veneers with my credit card and not saving up oh my gosh yeah that's <laughs> the credit cards are really just enablers for us to spend more than we necessarily have um, which I think you know is the importance of having a budget although I don't have one so who am I to talk but budget is my next step budget is my next step Okay, and this last one is anonymous uh, wins, actually saving, good job. And the oops, went emotional shopping way too much. I feel you. So that is all of the responses that I got. Thank you to everyone who shared. I think it was really fun getting to read and hear different people's like money wins. And I think, you know, the takeaway from this is that we're actually all so similar. So if, you know, you get tempted to compare yourself to people online who are like saving tons of money, um, just know that there's other people out there who are making mistakes too and mistakes are how we learn. But at the same time, you can know that there are people who are, you know, making wins as well and saving money. So there's both ends of the spectrum. And I think the important takeaway is also that we're just all human. We're all on this journey together. We're all learning together. So I think that's awesome. So for me, my personal next steps are to get a better grip on my budget. I actually signed up for YNAB and a couple of you guys recommended it to me, um, but it's a there's like a weird learning curve with it. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But once I feel I have a good grip on it, I'll know whether or not I like it. And I'll talk about that hopefully in my next money update and i am considering doing a no spend month for the month of october i think it should be pretty doable um if not a no spend then a reduced spend so whenever i make a plan for that i will let you guys know either in a separate video or a vlog so stay tuned for that and that's it if you guys have any stories any money wins any money fails that you want to share leave them in the comments down below and i will see you guys all in my next video love you so much thank you for watching bye